Nick, we saw you out there, you know, in the mix of things. If you do get the opportunity to play on this upcoming road trip, how has this transition gone to learning the system over the last few weeks to get ready for that opportunity? Uh, it's been good. I mean, obviously we have a new voice now, so, you know, there's there's some changes, not, you know, huge, uh, but there's things that he's instilling in the group, and I think just the past couple of games, you, you can tell, uh, you know, the guys are, are catching on and, and and seeing, you know, some changes that he wants, so kind of just knowing, knowing what he wants and, and just trying to do that. We hear so much about attention to detail and execution right now from Green. What are you seeing out of this group in those two areas particularly? Yeah, I think, you know, all over the ice, you know, breakouts, forecheck, neutral zone, wherever that is, it's just uh, little things that, you know, we have to pay attention to and, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty good league. You know, you got to pay attention to the, to the little things, and, and those are the difference. This team right now going on a three-game road trip out west. What's the biggest focus that you guys have heard in the preparation today heading out on the road? Yeah, I think it's just a day-by-day thing. We wanted to get better today as a group. I think we had a good practice. Um, now it's just get there and, and, you know, worry about tomorrow. Uh, get what you need in the morning and then, you know, have meetings and be prepared for, for the night. And just with several injuries that we didn't see two players out there defensively, how are you all able to use the depth that you have with this D group to, no matter who's out there, get the job done? Yeah, it's a great thing when you have good depth and a great decor and, and you know, leaders like, like Smitty uh, bringing everybody in. So, um, you know, not that it's ever easy, but uh, that makes it easier. Welcome back up. Can you just tell us first how that last stretch between being with the Devils, going back to Utica, and now coming back has gone for you, and any areas you've seen improve? I think I get a pretty good, pretty clear message from here. Just, just keep you doing what you're doing uh, up here, and uh, I think it's, uh, uh, it was pretty good. I think, and uh, I'm, I'm happy to be back here now. What did they say that really stood out about your performance? Because we did hear a lot about how strong you were up with your call up with the Devils last time. Uh, I think just uh, try to like uh, be be solid on uh, every every shift and uh, don't think like too much and just uh, play a solid game and yeah, move your feet. When you do have the opportunity to play next, if it's with the Devils, what's the biggest thing that you want to make sure you're achieving or continue to do? I want to keep going where I, where it was last time, and uh, I just we talked with Smitty, and uh, I think uh, I think it's going to be fun. Uh, Smith has been mentioned a couple of times by a couple of the younger defensemen. What has his leadership really meant to this decor, especially right now? A lot, a lot. Like as you've seen, we have pretty, pretty young decor here now, and uh, like I like to, I like to play with Smitty. We pair at the training camp together, and I think that was a uh, pretty, pretty good experience both of us. And uh, I think uh, I'm happy to play with him. With the little switches to the defensive zone play and just the detail of the scheme, how quickly are you getting familiar with everything? I think the system is pretty, uh, pretty similar than down in Utica, and uh, it, it's it's helping me a lot to just uh, learn the learn the system quickly. And uh, they they talk down there a lot how we how we do here up, and uh, yeah. And when it comes to attention to detail, that's something that keeps being said with this group heading into the road trip. What were some of the focuses in today's practice around that? I think it was execution and just play quick and uh, move your feet and like all the decisions fast and uh, stick with it. With some <laughs> housekeeping updates, do you have an update on Jonas Siegenthaler? Uh, yeah, he'll be out for an extended period of time. We're not obviously not sure when and hopefully uh, he starts to feel better. Will he be traveling? No, no. And then we didn't see John Marino at practice? Yeah, strong possibility uh, that he's not in tomorrow, upper body injury. Uh, I'd call him day to day, but okay. most likely out tomorrow. We saw D. Simone out there. He could mm-hmm. potentially get his first chance. What would you like to see out of him? Well, I don't know him as a player. I've talked to him about his strengths and weaknesses. He's a he's a good skater, good puck mover. Uh, obviously, he hasn't played for a while, and uh, you know, keeping a player confident mm-hmm. is important, and uh, also. You know, probably simplifying his game a little bit, uh, but he'll be excited to play. Hadaka had a really good showing when he was up here back yeah. in January. What yeah. stood out from you in that time, and what do you hope to see? Well, I just think his composure, his compete, his skating. Um, he defended well, uh, seemed confident, which uh, you want to see in young players. As uh, it's not an easy league to break into, but he seemed like uh, he had full, full of confidence and belief in himself, which is important. And uh, happy to see him back. 
do you have an update on on Allen when, when he might be ready? No, no, no. It's kind of like any day. Yeah. Is, is, he seems like you know, given his experience and and you know how, how long he's done this. I mean, yeah. he seems like a guy that would be a, a good voice for some of these young goalies. Yeah, I think so. Not just the goalies, but uh, presence in our room. He's been in the league a long time. Uh, I think you know when you have guys that have played in the league a while, they're they're a calming influence at times that maybe feel disruptive or a little. Uh, intense and uh, you know whenever you have veteran players like that whether it's a goalie uh, forward or D it always helps your group. Some of the lines today I mean is, is moving Mercer up to that line with, with Nico and Jack is that maybe an attempt to get him going a little bit? A little bit we want to change it up I, you know I, I do like some of the defensive part of our game that we've uh, the way we've been playing uh, you know we didn't give up you know, a whole lot against the Carolina the Ranger game was a little more than we wanted, uh, but also we've got a score, and uh, you know, sometimes a different look will we'll add a spark as well. You've you got a lot of guys who haven't seen the puck go in the net much in a while, and you know the cliche is holding the stick too tight or maybe trying to do too much. How do you talk them through something like something like that? Yeah, we talked to a few guys about it today. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm when you go on the ice, you want guys to feel good about themselves and, and goal scorers offensive-minded players when they haven't scored for a while, uh, they can feel a little tight, a little tension. They want to score, they want to do well, and, and when, you, when you haven't won a few games uh, that were close, uh, you know, they can feel it even more. So I think to take the pressure off them um, is important from the coach. And uh, we talked to a few guys just about enjoying themselves, enjoy playing the game, uh, try not to overthink it, which is easier said than done and go out and free your mind and have a good practice and that's the first start of having a good game.